If you are interested in learning different ways in which to use Canva for YouTube, the Creator Classroom is the place for you. This morning, I asked ChatGPT to come up with 50 different ideas in order to use Canva for YouTube. Today, we're gonna look at the first 10 of those ideas and see if they're possible. Here is ChatGPT. Sure, here are 50 different ways to use Canva for your YouTube channel. And this is actually a good way to use Canva for YouTube as well. Video ideas. Create custom thumbnails for your video. I'm gonna go ahead and check that one off. That's a great idea for using Canva for YouTube. And so what you would do is YouTube thumbnail, and it's gonna be right here. Now YouTube thumbnail size is 1280 by 720 pixel. There are all these different templates that you can use. Some of them are fantastic, some of them are not, but you can also create a blank one to create your own thumbnail as well. If you wanna know more about creating custom thumbnails for YouTube, then leave me a comment down below asking for the YouTube thumbnail tutorial. Design video intros and outros using Canva templates. So you can do this. Let's go to Canva and we're gonna search templates, intro. Here are intro templates. Let's see if I type in YouTube intro. So 2,400 templates there almost 5,000 if you just use the word intro. So there's there's gonna be that, but I really highly recommend actually not using this sort of thing unless you're using it for your trailer. But most people now in 2023 are not using one of these intro bumpers anymore. Now, as you see here, there are a bunch of different sizes when you just type in outro. So let's uh, type in YouTube outro and see what pops up. That's going to be better. So these are all going to be the right size. Um, again, it looks like a lot of them are the intro scenes. This one is an exit. And a lot of people are actually dropping these too. They're not including a fancy card at the end. They're just ending their video as quickly as they can and pointing to the next video you want someone to watch. Create channel art and banner designs. This is a fantastic way to use Canva. Let's go back to templates and let's type in YouTube. And there it is, banner. And here are different YouTube banners that are in templates, but I'm gonna caution you because a lot of them will not read right on a mobile device or even on a desktop computer. If you need help with sizing of your banners because your banners are coming out wrong, then you're gonna to wanna to tune in to the tutorial, YouTube banner sizing made easier. What I'll do is leave a link to that in the description. Design consistent branding elements like logos and watermarks. You can create logos and watermarks in Canva. Let's look up logo. Here are some logo templates. Some are gonna be great for YouTube and some are not. If you look in your YouTube studio, there is a section called customization. And if you go to branding, this is where you can put your logo. This is where you can put your banner. And this is the video watermark. You can actually use your logo if you want as the video watermark, or you can make one that's entirely different. You can customize where you want that watermark to be displayed, whether you want it at the end, whether you want it to a custom start time or throughout the whole video. What I would do is use the same sort of logo size for those items. 
create video overlays and effects to add visual interest. Let me just show you real quick. We're going to go to home. We're going to go to video. I'm just going to grab a video. I'm going to right click set images background. I'm just showing you an example of how to create an overlay on something to give it a different look. All right, so we're going to go back to elements and type in the word grid. And that's going to create this placeholder to go on top of it. Actually, you could put another video or a photo on top. Let me just grab this. I don't know what this is going to look like, but we're going to set that in. And then what you would do is go up here to the top right where there's a transparency button and reduce the transparency of the overlay. And then it gives it a different look. You can even take that overlay and animate it and give it its own, like that's a photo flow animation or a photo zoom animation. It gives it a different look without a whole lot of effort. And then you can even change out. So I've got this as photo zoom, but if I put this over, it actually did. It kept the photo zoom and it kept the transparency. So you can bring over different things. That one looks really cool, actually. I wonder if I give it a little less. All right, so then what you would do if you were wanting to put this as a B-roll in your video, you would just click share, download, make sure that it's an MP4 video file type and 120 is the minimum you would probably want and then you can download it. They even allow you to send a link if you were collaborating with a team on a project, you could send that so that they could watch that clip and they could be like, oh yeah, I like that clip. You're good to go with that. Mm, can you make some changes? Unique and engaging in screens for your video. Outro and in screens are really the same thing. However, I'm guessing this one is talking about using templates as this one is making unique so that means not templates. So we're going to let that one slide, but I did want to mark it in red so that I know that that really kind of is the same as the one above it. Design custom lower thirds to display information about you or your content. I love this one. This is actually the first thing that I used Canva for. I didn't use it for my thumbnails. I used it to design lower thirds because I had this idea that I could use Canva to write what I wanted to on the screen. If I had the free plan and I didn't have the paid where I could download a PNG without a transparent background, then what I would do is put that clip into Canva and then type it however I would like it. Let's see, see links in description. I might even would give it a little something like, uh, let's see here. So I did R on the keyboard for the rectangle and for the text, I typed T on my keyboard and that allowed me to uh, pull up a text box. So now let's give it a branded color. Use that because that's in the photo. It's like if I were doing one, I might would choose red or I might would choose the Canva color. I used shift on my keyboard and I selected the two things and now I'm going to click the three dots and group them. I want to animate this. So I'm click animate and I'm going to wipe it. Nope. I don't want to wipe it. You can use a typewriter on enter. What about word? See links in description. I can make it faster. I can animate that box with a pop, right click, show timing. This is going to be right here. The box and the words are going to go across the whole thing. So I clicked right, right click to see timing. Now I'm going to bring them up both up. So here's the box and here's the text. 
So I want to make sure that my text starts after my box comes up and I actually don't want it for the whole thing. So I'm going to bring it there. So let's see what that will look like. It's probably a little slow. It could be internet too. Let's see. What if I don't do pop? What if I do scrapbook on enter? And then I do this and make it like four seconds and in that there. Let's see. And then you could download that and put that into your video. Create infographics to illustrate data or information in your videos. That's actually a great use of Canva and one that I've not talked about nearly enough. Let's type in infographics because I want you to see that if you type infographics into graphics or whatever, you can get fun little things, especially if you have the pro plan. But because I have the pro plan, I can actually filter it to free. And there's a lot of free options too. You just have to like manually scroll through if you're on the free plan. I could put something like this in a video, four different ways to use Canva for YouTube on this and change the colors. And so that would be fun. The other thing that you can do is make sure you're on elements. And if you scroll down, there's charts. So we're going to click see all and there's all of these charts. And there's even other charts that you can do. You can even upload your CSV. You can tie it to Google Sheets. For example, how I use this on my YouTube channel is that I created a YouTube community post and used one of these when I was getting close to 1000 subscribers to let people know just how close I was. And so that was a very, very fun way for me to use that on my YouTube channel. Design custom video backgrounds and templates to use in your videos. Okay, so the way I see this working would be something like if you were doing a live stream where you wanted something at the very bottom of all of your videos, sort of like a watermark, but not, then what you could do is create that using the video size that you would want. I've got this as an overlay or an underlay of backgrounds when I do live streams. Sometimes I will use this, sometimes I won't. An example, I'm going to do an example right here. I've got this on the background and I'm speaking to you in a little box on this image so that you can see the overlay up at the top, wherever it is and my logo up at the top too. So that's a really fun way to use Canva for YouTube. So ChatGPT wins on this one. Create social media posts to promote your YouTube channel and videos. This is an excellent use of Canva. And look, social media, they've got all sorts of social media ideas for Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn, Here's different um, templates that you can use as well for stories and whatnot. And what I particularly like to do is use the Instagram post the square size for actually my YouTube community tab. If you give it an animation, you can actually turn it into a GIF for your YouTube community tab as well. Nine of them were, were completely different from each other. Only one was sort of the same. I think ChatGPT did a great job. And I was thinking that next week, we'll go over those 10. What do you think? You're going to see me wearing the same thing because I'm going to record all these at the same time. I think that that's really helpful. And it's a helpful tip for you. Create in bulk when you're doing your videos. Create as much in bulk as you can. It will help you with your process. Make sure you click into this right now. And I'll see you next time. Bye.